This is the Book of Mark, chapter 13, verse 7. And when you should hear of wars and rumors of wars, be not troubled for these things must need be, but the end not shall be yet. Luke 21, 9 through verse 11. But when ye shall hear wars and commotions, be not terrified, for these things must first come to pass, but the end is not by and by. Then say unto them, Nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. Verse 11. And great earthquakes shall there be in diverse places, and famines, and pestilence, and fearful sights, and great signs shall there be from heaven. Matthew 24 and 6. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, ye that ye be not troubled for all these things must come to pass, the end is not yet. Matthew 24 and 7. For nation shall rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilence in diverse places, I mean, in earthquakes in diverse places. And shall I want, first and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to. Take your album by Hashem, your album shot by Hashem, you will call it Ash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of great Muslim, which is words of faith and sincerity. Shout out to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching the word truth and sincerely. And shout out to the Akim, that be like unto the speck of bird, preaching the word truth and sincerely. I say shout out to the Akim out there. And this is a sit down lesson for In the News on October 13th, 2022, at 2 58 p.m. Central Standard Time on this uh, Thursday afternoon. And this is recently from the Associated Press. And I was scrolling down through the news article. So I was like, let me do a little quick sit down lesson on this. You know, with the increase of uh, wars and rumors of wars, you know, on a daily basis. And this is a news article from the Associated Press. And published by Jim Gomez and Aaron Fidra, if I pronounce his name right. And the highlight of this news article when it reads for in the news on October 13, 2022, on this Thursday afternoon, like I mentioned before, and it reads, U.S. Firepower Showcase in Philippine Joint Combat Drills. And these uh, photos, photos of it, they ain't got a video clip, but, you know, this is uh, photos of it. Firepower of the missiles associated, associated by the United States and the Philippines as they did uh, military joint drills. About 17 photos of them. U.S. soldiers and the Philippine soldiers together doing military combat drills, joint exercise drills. And continue on with the reading. It says, uh, from the Philippines Associated Press, a slot so move that out the way. It says a truck monitor, a truck mount launches blasts off rockets and US stealth fighter jets uh screech across the northern Philippine skies on Thursday in a combat drill that marks the latest display of American firepower in a region where Washington has tried to deteriorate what it warns China's growing aggression. And I believe it was an article, uh, no matter of fact, it was on uh, CNN News. Uh, Joe Biden had an interview, uh, it was about yesterday, I was looking at it. Even though I understand CNN News is not reliable source news all the time because 100% it's not true all the time but you know I was just looking at it yesterday and Joe Biden was saying that China is the number one uh, their number one uh, competition you know they look at them as the number one threat even though Russia on top of that list as well too you know Joe Biden stated that uh, China is their number one threat when it comes to technology and the being the next superpower and stuff like that so you know that I just had to add a, add an extra note to that, you know, since it mentioned, you know, they had previously uh, run-ins and warnings against China, you know, the tensions between China 
in the United States and then Beijing and Washington as well too. And I'm gonna read that part again. It says, uh, it says uh, Thursday in a combat drill that marks the latest display of American firepower in a region where America, I mean, where Washington was trying to deteriorate what it warned as China growing aggression. The live fire exercise in a gun and bomb range in a dis desolate valley in Capas town in North Manila in the Philippines where highlight of two weeks of combat readiness maneuvers which including mock rifle assaults the joint coastal defense tactics uh, involving more than 2,500 Americans and the Philippine Marines it says uh, how their artillery shoots bomb across the dust valley and in the by a mountain range and hills from the United States and the Philippines, uh, marine fire positions and some concealed by camouflage tents. It says, Call Commander Talaga Arakan for corroborations of warriors of the sea. The military maneuvers in on Friday were being held simultaneously with combat drills between U.S. Marines and Japanese Army forces on Japan Northern Island of Hadako that involves 3,000 personnel from the two sides, the U.S. military official says. The U.S. Uh, Major General J. Bargum of the Japan based 3rd Marine Division has said the exercise were aimed to bolstering the defense capabilities of the U.S. alliance with Philippines, Japan, and ensure that we are prepared to rapidly respond to crisis throughout the Indo Pacific. <coughs> so, like, this exercise is a important. Uh, opportunity to bring together the U.S. and the Philippines capability and personnel strength our combat readiness. Joel 3 and 9 proclaim this amongst the Gentiles prepare war and that's what we're seeing. I just want to add that reference scripture to that. But continuing on with the reading it said profic profic proficiencies and trust the U.S. Marine Lieutenant Colonel Kurt Standards told the Associated Press <coughs> Salaki it says American High Mobility Artillery Rocket Systems or HIMARS rocket launchers will have recently helped Ukraine gain momentum in its war with Russia and a F-35 supersonic jet I mean, fire jet was showcased in the military exercise on Wednesday and Thursday. The HIMAR launches fire GPS guided missiles depending on the mission and system configuration of the HIMARS are capable of hitting targets up to 300 kilometers of 186 away. Stack says the highly mobile launch are hard for the enemies to spot and can quickly change positions and fire to escape retaliatory airstrikes. It says, well, we could never position strikes against critical targets like a communication systems or radar. The high mark could also be used to stop an enemy force gaining on a constant piece of coastal terrain. Stallion said, the F-35B jet also can play a significant role in increased battlefield readiness between allied forces on the ground and in the air. Though the communication links providing details uh, on positions and average forces, he said, and 
Standing echo remarks by Philippines military officials that the regular scheduled annual exercise was not directly towards any country. It says the combat maneuvers, however, were being held at any time when Washington has more sternly warns of Beijing over its increasingly assert actions against Taiwan and rival climate states in the South China Sea. And U.S. President Joe Biden uh, has said American forces will defend Taiwan if Beijing tries to invade self rule Island, spark anger and protests from Japan. Separately in July, with U.S. Secretary Anthony Blinken calls on to comply a 2016 attribution ruling that invaded Beijing vest territorial claims uh, in the South China Sea has warned Washington is obligated to defend the Philippines under a 1951 U.S. Philippine Mutual Defense Treaty. If Philippine forces, vests, or aircraft come under attack in the dispute waters, <clears throat> yeah, I remember I did a lesson on that a couple of months ago in regards to that situation. <clears throat> and it says the ruling was issued by the term manual set up of the Hajj under the UN Convention on the Law of the Sea at the Philippines governor, I mean government, brought China to attribute in 2013 over Beijing's siege of the uh, show of the Northwest Philippines. China did not participate, call the attribute decision shame and continues to defy. It says Vietnamese, Malaysia, Taiwan, and Bernie also have overlapping claims that the busy waterway where an estimate five trillion goods passes each year, which uh, believes to be rich in undersea gases and oil deposits. The military drill was the first large-scale exercise between the treaty allies under the newly elected president, Ferland Marcos Jr., who took office in June after a landslide election victory. His predecessor, Rodrigo Dorsey, was an outspoken critic of the U.S. security policies and nurtured closer ties with China and Russia. Early in his presidency, the group threatens to severe ties with Washington and frowned on military exercise with American forces that he could offer be offend Beijing. Dorsey later attempted to end a key defense pact that allows large number of American forces to visit the Philippines for combat exercise but walk back his uh, threat. So yeah, yeah, uh, wars and rumors of wars increasing now more than ever. As I stated previously in my videos, you know, with the military exercise training has been increasing, military readiness for the nations and these militaries of these nations, different kingdoms as well too, rising up against one another. As I was reading through the article, they said uh, the showcase of the United States firepower with the uh, Japan, the United States, and the Philippines. They were saying it's not towards any threat towards any country. But, you know, as I was reading further on down to the article, you know, it was showing the uh, uh, United States having uh, continuously encountered uh, tensions between Beijing, China, over the Taiwan Sea and the South China Sea in uh, water disputes with uh, the Philippines and the United States got a, uh, some type of treaty over protections over there in the Indo-Pacific, so tension is increasing on that. So most likely it is a direct towards China and Beijing, you know, and the countries that's allies with China as well too, you know, so those tensions are definitely going to increase 
and it's definitely going to stir up. That's why you've been seeing throughout the whole year of 2020 and 2022, you've been seeing nothing but military increasing of uh, joint exercise drills, joint Navy base type drills, simulation type ground troop type drills, nations are firing missiles, uh, IBCBM intercontinent ballistic missile training. Uh, firing off missiles, so etc. You name it, you know. So these uh, wars and rumors of wars and nations rising up against nations and kingdom against kingdoms and the commotions of wars, proxy wars, etc. You name it. So these things are definitely going to increase more and more and more. And expect to see more nations that's allies with one another against their adversaries and their military readiness and full. Uh, training of these joint military exercise drills starting to continue to increase more and more and more, you know. So with that, I hope this uh, sit-down lesson was edifying for In The News on October 13th, 2022 at 3.12 p.m. Central Standard Time on this Thursday afternoon. And I would like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, or Kadash, uh, double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, Christians word truthfully and sincerely, and Shalom to the Akim that be like us in the speckled bird, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And until next time, I will say Shalom in a bubble bubble.